Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got something a little bit different to look at. We've got the Diamond DA6Z, which is a radio controlled player. So let's just open the box and see what you get in the box. Okay, so this is the player. As you can see, it's very, very small. So you get the control board, which believe it or not, is a stabilised control board, so it's got stabilisation built into it. You get the fuselage and a 1S 300mAh LiPo. You get the tail section, you get the actual tail itself. Two wings, bag of bits, another bag of bits, the transmitter and the charger. So this is the transmitter. So as you can see, it's two channel. So it basically is throttle, turn right, turn left. And it works by two motors. So there's no air lines on here, no rudder. It simply works by these your motor pods. So they've gone to here, the glue on, I think it's in that position, you glue them on and in here you have in your bag of bits, the bag that's been glued together, so you have two motors. Now the way this works is, when you turn one motor goes faster than the other, allowing the plane to turn. So it's Important which way around you put these motors, obviously. The similar type of motors to what you'd get on a nano quadcopter or something like that. You get two of them, you get two spare props, which is nice. These, believe it or not, are wheels. I don't think we'll be fitting these. Well, I might fit them to show you what they look like, but we'll, I won't be fitting them when I fly. And a couple of other accessory parts. Some screws. And I'm not actually sure what that's like. It might be to open the battery hatch actually. So, it glues together, so you can use CA glue. I'm probably going to use hot glue for speed. And to be fair, it's not going to take much to hold it together. So as you can see, you simply slot it together, glue it. So we tail on the top, and then your wings go... Sorry, your wings go underneath. That's that wing. So your wings click under, go underneath there. You fasten your wings on with the motors in, glue them, and the cables run through there. You see that? Your cables push through there for your motors. And that's basically it. It weighs next to nothing. It weighs about 23 grams, I think, with a battery. Your controller takes three AA batteries, and it has got a couple of speeds. I'm going to show you more of that when we have a good flight part of this video. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to take a break. I'm going to build it and come back to you and show it you built. And then we'll go fly it. So here we go. It's all built. Very simple to build. It took about 20-25 minutes. Simply glue the wings in place. I used hot glue. You can use CA. Glue this bit on. Glue the tail on. The motor pods bolt on with two screws. Sorry, two screws that go through there. Make sure you bring your wires through these little gaps and then plug them into the control unit there. It's as simple as that. So what I recommend you do when you build one of these or anything like this is take it outside and throw it. It should glide and be quite straight. It shouldn't be like that, it shouldn't be like that, it shouldn't nose down. It should just glide through the air and obviously it'll come to a stop, it won't glide forever. This did about 10 metres in a straight line which is fantastic. If anything this is very slightly nose heavy. But I'd rather have that than tail heavy, but almost perfect. You plug your wheels in there. I put the wheels in to show you these won't be staying on because I'll be flying this on grass, so I won't be able to take off and land with these, unfortunately. So we'll take them off and we'll just hand, hand launch it. So, as you can see, it's all built. So let's turn it on. So we'll turn it on underneath. Turn in your controller. And it... And then up your accelerator and down will bind it. So there you go. So <laughs> you 
you can hear the motors making noises as they move side side because it's slowing and increasing the speed because of the stabilisation. Let's slow it down to a slower pace. And then you can hear them change by me going right and then left. It's increasing and decreasing the motors and that's how it works. Great trim buttons on the front so you can trim it out. For 20 quid I think this is awesome, but the proof's in the pudding, so let's go fly it. Okay, so we've seen it fly. What did you think? So, the, it is a little bit pitchy, so yeah, throttle management's key on this one. So, once you get your throttle to the desired place, then you can just fly around in circles, do figure of eight type of things, anything you like. But it is quite pitchy. So, so if you saw in the video, you've probably seen it do this a couple of times. That's because I give it too much throttle. All you need to do then is back it off, find your desired thing, and you can virtually fly this with one stick. Hell of a lot of fun to fly. I loved it. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. I haven't trimmed this. This is exactly as you've seen me stick it to as you've seen from the video. I stuck it together. I have not trimmed it at all with the buttons when I flew. I just flew it. So this is straight out of the box. Absolute winner for me. About 23 quid you can pick it up from from Banggood. Loads of places to sell this now. There's a few videos around on YouTube. But it really is a fantastic little thing to fly in the park for a kid. For a kid's present for Christmas, I don't think you can go wrong. This is so cheap at the money. It flew fine. You saw while I was flying it, they're never affected by the range. I don't know if I'd have gone any further with it, but you don't need to. It's too small to go any further. So, thanks ever so much for watching. It's a definite winner for me. There'll be more planes coming up on the channel, and thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.